Yer! What is up, explorers? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Dark. In this episode, we are exploring an old abandoned mansion slash castle. In fact, they said it's one of the only castles left in the United States. It's on 115 acres of land, and they're claiming that this place is haunted. I don't actually know if it is. The owners of this castle are saying this place is haunted, but online, I read otherwise. I, I heard mixed reviews that this place is not haunted. It's an old castle that looks haunted, but they're trying to be haunted, and it's not haunted. I don't really know, so in this video, we're gonna uncover the truth about this place, see if this place is actually haunted, and also go over the actual history, because online, the history of this castle is wrong. We're sitting right now at the front gate of this place. It's called the Wilson Castle. It is built in 1865, and this is the front gate. It's completely smashed, though. I mean, whatever. We're in Proctor, Vermont, in the middle of nowhere. You'll see, guys, this castle is 100% one for the books. Get ready. All right, guys, there's a lot going on here. We are walking up this road that looked like it hasn't been maintained in a while. But in fact, the people here are, you're allowed to come here and do tours during the, uh, the summer, but COVID happened. And you could actually book to stay here overnight. Again, this is called the Wilson Castle. So if you do want to come here, if you like what you're going to see here, which I don't know what you're going to see yet, but if you like what you see and you want to stay here, the website's online. So you can check this place out and try it out for yourself. You can see that the sun's already coming down because it's 6 p.m. Um, I'm going to try to get as much sunlight as we can as we explore this place. But you can already get a tease of what this place is going to look like as we're coming up to it. We have our friend John Huntington in the back. Now, John Huntington, if you guys don't know him, he's the guy from The Conjuring House who does uh, all the good spirit boss sessions. He's the one that got us in here and he's the one that's going to be pretty much leading our investigation tonight because we're still new at it and we're giving you the most realist content online for a ghost show and we're trying to keep it as authentic and entertaining as we can. We have a friend is with us too, who's joining us. She was holding the camera at first. I needed someone to hold it because Seth, who looks like Waldo over there, is getting shots and pictures of this place. Yay! Ah! Guys, this is our castle for the night. Dude, you ever stay in a castle overnight before? I don't think, I actually, I stayed in, uh, oh, I did, Dracula's castle overnight, but who cares, this is cool. That's different, this one's haunted. <laughs> yeah, exactly, this one's haunted. There's a lot to talk about. Like, I don't even, I really don't know how to start this video or what to do next because there's just so much to talk about and go over. Again, though, so we're gonna go over, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, guys, seriously, oh my god. If you guys seen Stephen King's uh, R Red Rose Mansion, like that horror movie, this looks literally almost identical. This is a neo Renaissance architecture. Almost actually looks gothic. I mean, it is incredible. You can see, like, the lion crest above. We got some zoom in shots, we got great drone shots. You can really get a hold and see how beautiful this place is. And it's kind of in disrepair almost, at least from the outside, but they're working on it. They're trying to fix it up. I mean, dude, look at this as you come up here. You got a freaking eagle out here. Almost, at first when I came here, I was like, yo, is this like some sort of gargoyle? Like I wasn't sure at first, but it is seriously a beautiful place. Now, I'm gonna give you all the history, but we make sure on this show that everything is authentic and as real as possible. We have, an, we have a guy here who knows so much about this house and he's gonna give us the whole entire rundown because a lot of the history online about this place is actually a lie and I wanna be as real as I can, so we're gonna wait till he comes. Until then, I'm gonna explore this place. There is a beautiful water fountain out of here. I'm digging it. It is actually really hot right here in Vermont at the moment. We are filming this in July, halfway in July, but during COVID, this place is, like I said, it's shut down. No one could really stay the night here unless you do bookings online. And yeah, dude, it's really cool. Now this house, to me, is so astronomically great that I want to walk around and show you the architecture on the outside before we even get in the inside. There's only one thing I do know about this place. It's a few things. There's 32 rooms and there's 84 glass windows and there's 13 fireplaces here. That is all I know about this place. But damn, <laughs> this is incredible. Like I said, 
I seriously cannot wait to go inside here. We are going to be in here alone for the whole entire night staying here. The owner is here in the inside and the owner is gonna show us around. It's great because some of the people here actually watch my videos, so this is cool. I, I think so far everyone here has been really friendly and nice and they're really cool about letting us in here. Again, like I said, this place ain't all fully built yet and you can still tour it and things like that. But until then, it's kind of like half abandoned, but on Beyond the Dark, we're not just doing abandoned. I don't mind paying to stay somewhere crazy and, and get the experience and really just learn the history and, and like explore and investigate myself. Look at that ladder. <laughs> There's a ladder like hanging from one side to the other. Now in the back of this mansion or castle, the grass is like overgrown right here. I kind of want to sneak in the back and see what's going on. I mean, again, this place has 115 acres. What What's really good here? Like what is back there? I want to know. Because what I'm trying to do right now and what I'm picturing because this video was really sudden when I got permission to come here I just jetted over here with Seth. We didn't really know what we we're gonna do We didn't know how to film usually we structure our beyond the dock videos where it kind of looks like more of like an actual TV show But with this one man, it happened so quick. We're just like we're gonna make this work We're gonna make this into like maybe a two-part series We're gonna just make it flow and try our best and that is exactly what we're doing. Check this out. It looks like some I don't know some cages but it's designed really nice. Maybe it was just a place to kind of sit back in the back and relax. And they made it into some sort of like garden art style. I, I don't know. But I'm generally just snooping around. I mean, I, I get, look at this. In the USA, this? I f swear I feel like I'm in France right now. Look at that. And here's the other side of the mansion. So you got to see the whole entire 360 of the mansion. This is a good area, definitely. I can just picture myself eating spaghetti just in my haunted mansion <laughs> and then just looking out at the view. But you can't get over this. These. The points. Okay, so you've seen the outside, you've seen how there's holes everywhere and they're trying to fix it up, which is, to me, really cool. You know the architecture. I think it's now time to find the crew, everyone. Get everyone together and we're gonna now go inside. Again, we're gonna be staying the night here. All right guys, we're now going into the house. Honestly, it is freaking dark in there, so I had to bring the light out and it's not even dark outside. Again, see you guys. We're now gonna lock ourselves in for the whole entire night. Let's go inside. You know, first off, just starting in here before I get into it, check this out. I mean, again, they are trying to fix this place up as much as I can, and no one lives in it. Look at the ceilings. They could be repainted if they want to restore it. There's cobwebs on it right there. Paint chipping in the front. This is insane. Wow. There's a lot to look at. Seriously. <laughs> We're gonna, dude, I don't, this is just the first room, guys. Look at all the artifacts. I see something different every time I come here. Seriously, I don't even know what the heck to go over. There's so much stuff in here. I like, I feel like I have to take my shoes off before stepping on this carpet. I don't even know what to go over. This is a sculpture made, it's a French Helena. I don't even know. There's too much stuff to look at, guys. I don't even know which room's the most haunted room here. 
John's been here. How many times have you been here, John? I've lost count. I think five or six at least. And you had some crazy things happen, like some spooky stuff? Oh, yeah. Good EVPs? Just about every time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Spirit had, Box King here. I've He's had a bad night here. No, no, tonight no. might be the bad night. Oh, yeah, it's starting off kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, gosh, look at this. Check out this guy or girl. Sorry. I'm just going to keep on walking through. Dude. Explorers, I'm freaking believable. I can. I'm just so overwhelmed. First fireplace I think I've seen. Even, oh, check out this old, old record player. To think we're staying the night in here. This place is way bigger than what I'm used to. I spoiled the conjuring house, it was like five rooms. Yo. Oh gosh. I feel like at night these sculptures are just gonna move. Well, like what, what this sculpture? They said that this is one of the rare sculptures in the world. Yeah, look at that. It's gone. I know you guys are waiting for the history, but I'm waiting for our friend Andy get, to get here because he's going to go over it all. I don't want to give you guys the wrong info. The dining hall is in pristine condition. What is this, an old knife? No way. Yeah, we're about to leave and it's like... Someone hit those by uh, uh, just... No, we were just two of us here. We're about to leave and, and just about to leave here. Ding, ding, and here. Dude, I can't <laughs> wait for when the night happens. It's going to be night in like two hours, so we're just kind of preparing and getting like a, a feel for what we're going to be getting ourselves into because if people are in the other room, I don't know what room they're in. Like, we're going to get lost in here. All right, guys, we're back in the main lobby. I just went around with the camera to show you guys, you know, some things. Again, we haven't even been upstairs yet. We maybe explored 14 rooms. I don't know. We're gonna go upstairs right now. Dude, I feel like we're in like MTV Cribs. We've got like the red carpets on the ground, probably like 100 years old, like this place. But the stained glass right here is insane. Dude, there's an organ player up here. Does it work though? It don't work. I'm not gonna like break their things. Or if I touch something and then the ghost sees me and they possess me, that will not be good. But dude, see how dark it is? This whole place is huge. For all we know, there's actually people here and we just can't even see them yet because like this place is that big. Like I actually don't know where Seth is right now. Check out this bathtub. Like I like the bathtubs that don't have the shower head like all attached to it. This looks actually kind of dope. I like, I like how I'm going into the bathtub except everything else. But look, see like how this place is still need to be repaired? This. Oh God. Whoa, it extends. It goes even back here. Dude, that's like an attic. Oh my god, we're gonna go in there soon, but check this out. This is like from American Horror like Asylum. Yo. I think this is it. We might actually die here. Explorers, if we die here, hashtag rest in peace, exploring crew, or just Josh, whatever. I mean, oh my god, I wanna go this way, but like, dude, we still have more to go. Check this out. John, what do you think, man? Like, you think it's gonna be a good night? What do you think? I think we should move in here. Yo, I think I think we have rooms for everyone here. All our crew members can just stay here. Hell yeah. I mean, what? I'm sure they have so much more. antiques. So this was this this must have been this girl's room. This is all her. One of the uh, the Wilsons. Yo. And then up here though, this is her. I guess before maybe she passed. That was her last picture. And it's drawn. It's that's, not even the real picture, it's just drawn. That's where the, you know, the EVP I sent you? This is the room. Oh, this is the room? Oh, dude, I can't wait. Yeah, we're gonna, I really hope, I, dude, we're honestly, if we can catch the REM pod light up, and we can get some, like, really good EVPs, you already know it's legit because you can't fake an EVP. If we're talking, and we're waiting for something to record, and you hear a voice after that, and we don't hear it with our ears, but you hear it recording, you know 
So John said that he recorded an EVP in this room, and he says it was louder than the actual room itself and what the people were talking. Like, how, like, uh, what happened? Well, I had a group in here. Um, the last time I came here, it was probably like eight to ten people here. And uh, we're doing, first we did Sparebox, which was just, it was crazy. Like, people were just amazed. The owner was like, just loved it. But I, uh, we did an EVP session, and when I played it back, a woman in here was like, Who's here? And, no. every, and everybody in here heard it. Like, right and it away. was loud. I played it back, yeah. Like, this was like, oh my god. Like, this is going to be the room yeah, tonight. This hopefully. is one of my favorite rooms. That's good. I mean, you've been here six yeah. times or five, so if you're saying this is one of your favorites out of 32, 34 rooms, then I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I love it. <laughs> Yo, guys, let's go one more. Yo, another random bathtub. I might, I might just take a shower here tonight, dude. This might be it. I'm hot right now, like I'm sweaty. This is gonna be a rough. I might jump inside of like some swimming hole after this. Dude, look at this though. Dude, look at this. All right, yo, we gotta check the ceiling out first. It's falling apart again. It just, it's literally, must, it's hand painted at one time back in the day. It's incredible here. Yo, real quick, I've never seen this before. Comments, actually, what is this guys? Can, do you know what this is? Camera girl? I do. You know what this is? I believe it's uh Wait, oh you oh you blowing it? Like I think it's a herring device. No, it looks like a yeah, maybe you're right. Hang on. Yo. Yo. <laughs> maybe I think I what if it's like an old thing to like echo? Or it could just be a cone and I don't know, someone threw this on it. Maybe put up seat ears so you can hear long. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I really don't know. It's kinda so th big for that. Yeah. So I'm assuming this was this guy's room. Check this guy out. He's obviously part of the Wilsons. I don't know who that this is. Colonel Wilson's, Carl room. Wilson's room. Yeah. Oh my God. To think like how many generations of people lived here and then died here. This is wild. Yo, he had a safe here. Yeah, the safe was awesome. He's not messing around. Check this out, dude. That's how thick that is. Yeah. Oh God. Dude, no one's stealing Colonel. Uh, Wilson stuff, <laughs> except us. <laughs> the clock works here, though. Oh wait, no, no, it don't. The clock does not work. Yo, this bed is so weird. I tried sleeping this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Is your time? I feel you though. I think they play games in here. Stuff. I think we can play games here. Oh yeah, I mean... Actually, we can do our Ouija board here in Colonel's room. The Colonel comes through a lot in spare box. Right? Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good. Supposedly, this is a ghost that wasn't there, supposedly. Dude, no way. That's what I mean, I said. Like, it's too thick. Like, yeah, I don't... Seven. I mean, hey, people can claim a lot, and maybe this is it, but that looks way too perfect, right? I don't know. We'll, you know, we'll, like yeah, kids look yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. Come on, come on. But that's the thing. That's the thing, guys. Like, we don't know what's real and what's not. Like, that's why we are investigating tonight. We don't know if this could just be like a fake tourism thing to try to raise money. We don't know what it is. And the thing is, sometimes people will go to a really haunted place and nothing's gonna happen. So, no one knows. This is the. the this is why we love our experiences and we're just going with the flow. I feel like if I was here, this would be like the most haunted room to me. I don't know why. I think because it's like a girl's room. It's kind of spooky. It's pink. I mean, her gloves are still here. I don't know. It does, right? It really does. I mean, her dress is just chilling right here. Yeah, this is blocked off. Maybe to preserve it. But maybe it's just because the floors are unsafe. And because it's like on a wing. It kind of feels like that's why it's like more of a safety. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, we only live once, man. Hey, this is their bathroom. This is a really weird place to put your bathroom. Beyond the dark. Check it out, the merch. Here's our view. Now in the front. Again, shout out to the water fountain. Bang, bang. And then there's this room. Last room before we can head into some random spots. Oh, dude, actually, you know what? This might be the most haunted room. I take everything back. This one on the square box, like, they call me certain names. Oh, they swear at you here? Yeah, they call me, like, F.A. 
Oh, dude, that's what I'm saying. I mean, even the Conjuring house, they're always swearing at John. Definitely. But look at this. Something's good with this. I don't know, guys. Oh, I don't God. know. If we can get this to move tonight, I'm going to flip out. We got to try to get, like, Pete the ghosts to try to move this tonight. This is the bed I used to <laughs> oh, I, oh, you, oh, that's the most comfortable bed? Yeah. You call this room then tonight? I've stayed here alone before. What? Yeah. Yo. Guys, would you stay here alone? <laughs> I mean, John slept in that bed. It must be the most comfortable one. So guys, Seth is wearing a Where's Waldo shirt. He looks like a sailor or something. Check this out. There he is. Check him out. Hey! Waldo, get back here! Ah, oh, he's gone. Oh, this is the guy who's gonna give us all the info. But first, we're gonna keep on exploring. So now we're going into this side, and I think this is the side where, like, I'm assuming people, I'm assuming they just never fixed it yet. Because check this out. Yo! Oh, okay, this is the side that they do, um, they, they, they must store this stuff. This is for their Halloween event stuff. They do Halloween stuff on the outside of this place. But it's totally not fixed up. For all we know, the unfixed spots might be the most haunted spots. Oh, it smells in here. Oh my God. It smells like a dead body. Just a bunch of junk in here. This is the spots of this place you'll probably never see on a real tour. Jeez. I just walked into a ton of cobwebs. Guys, seriously, come on. Yo. Mad freaky. See, this is what caught my attention, was the upstairs. If we can get all the way to this, yeah, this must be like the attic area. Yo, look at just more doors. It keeps going down there. Yo. Okay. Let's go check the back. Yeah, because on Halloween, well, during Halloween season, they have something in the back. Oh, they got the pigeons. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is where the dead bodies will be. Okay. Now we're finding stuff. Yo! This is unbelievable. It just, it, this place is so freaking big. I literally can't get over it. The floors are creaking. Yo. Something I would see literally like in Italy. Unbelievable. Jeez. There's a lot of work to do, but I, I mean, you could literally just rent this spot out. We're at the very tippity top. I actually think this, I wanna come up here a lot at night and just vibe out. This is, this is actually beautiful. It's unfinished, of course, but seriously, it is amazing. Yo, is this like a mummy coffin? What the hell? I like to really, I like to really just get down into it. I want to show you guys everything before we get into the investigation. That's why in uh, Conjuring, we had three, well, two part series, because I wanted to show you guys what it was and what it looked like before we got into the actual investigation. And to just show you guys that there's like no tricks or no gimmicks here. I mean, honestly, it probably gets even crazier than this. Okay, well that's definitely the creepiest thing we've seen, the, the old baby carriage. But I just think this place gets, you know, to the top creepy. Like, can it go even more? Like, is there an upstairs? Like, what's in Get the hell out. It goes higher. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. What's over here? Yo. Look at this wheelchair. 
Dude, that is definitely amazing. And this is inside the pointy wing in the main, uh, the main place I'm telling you about. Wow. Just the carved wood and the architecture as we're going through here. I just always had, a, like I always dreamed of like having an old Victorian house with like one of these like wings. So as of right now, we are running gun in this video, guys. Usually with the Beyond the Dark video, it's really professional, I'd like to say. It's, it's done right, but with this one, it's not enough time to go around the house, film everything, and then get right into the investigation. So we're really just trying to walk you through it. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. We are now heading upstairs even more, further than beyond, I'd like to say. If you're already going Super Saiyan, you're going past Super Saiyan, you're going beyond instinct. This is it, Ultra Instinct Mode times two, right here. We are in the actual attic of the house. I don't think we're supposed to be up here. This would lead you outside. Should we do it? I might get in trouble. We have to try it. It's a bat! Oh god, that scared me. The bat scared me. I'm getting out of here. <sighs> Mission failed. I could not get up there. It was too heavy to lift up, but even if I could lift it up, I'll pro it's probably just not safe. I might get in some huge trouble. I, did, I definitely this is like some 1800s wheelchair. I mean, look at this. They, don't, they even added some support in the back for some crazy reason. I'm not even, obviously I don't even know, but it's just such a unique, Old piece of history. Push Seth, in it Seth, yeah, can we push you in it tonight? That's a good idea. I'll do it. Definitely. You got the really cool view in the back, though, looking over everything in our. T this is our tower. You know what this could be? This could be the safe room. If things go wrong, we hide up in the tower. Yeah, this is like the uh, the explorer slash ghost hunter hideout. Exactly. Still chilling in the attic, and guys, I want to know from so far what we've seen in the comments below. What is your favorite room before we actually even investigate? Because for me, my favorite room is right in there in the attic. Boom. And I like being up here in the really unfinished part of the house. I wonder if they'll ever fix this room. All right, guys, we just explored the entire house. At least we think we did. Maybe at night we're going to like investigate thoroughly and we're going to find a secret room or compartment. But until then, we think we explored the whole house. We're about to start soon. It's almost dark. We need about 40 more minutes left. We're going to go talk to Andy and get the history on the entire house. Explorers, it is now pretty much dark. I think it's, you know, let's just get a timestamp on this. It is 9.15 p.m. right now, and we're gonna start the whole entire, you know, investigation with first doing the interview and the whole thing with Andy, who's gonna show us around and give us a really big tour of this place, because obviously I've just been exploring around, screwing around actually, but I wanted to show you guys everything. So let's get right up into this now. It is dark, and dude, this mansion, it just holds darkness. Like, without my light, I hope this light can last the night, really. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm just gonna film you guys and just hop in. You wanna be in it, Denise? Of course you do. You own, <laughs> so wait, so you own this place still? Yeah. 
This is a good place. This is the coolest place I've ever been to. <laughs> Yo, you're just sucking up to the owner. No, it's true. Yeah. I love this place. I really, really do. So guys, everyone, this is Andy, and he's the one that's giving us a tour today. And he's already said so much off camera, I'm like, he's gonna have to repeat, repeat himself on camera because he knows a lot about this place, way more than what the internet actually has to offer, so he's the brains of this operation right now. All right, well, welcome to the Wilson Castle, guys. Um, just to set the record straight, it was built 1885. Um, up to 50 craftsmen were here from Europe to build it, and it did take seven and a half years. It's a pretty unique place, especially for being in Vermont. It's more something you'd find actually in like Newport, Rhode Island. Um, right. Along, among one of along the, the beach, yep. I always think it's like Newport threw one of its mansions and it landed here in uh, <laughs> Vermont. Yeah. So um, that's very unique for that. Um, but the place was built for John Johnson and Sarah Robbins. They were the original owners. Um, they actually didn't last here very long. After about seven and a half years, they moved out. Um, he left her and their child and booked it out of town, was never heard from again. And what? Sarah Robbins and their child Elliot basically went to Boston and resided there. And uh, the castle was bought and sold numerous times between the first owner and the current owner, um, which is the Wilson family. Uh, Denise Stavin is the granddaughter of Colonel Wilson. Hey! hey. Hi, Denise! Hi. <laughs> And Colonel Wilson actually like found this place in 1940 for just fat taxes that were owed to the town of Proctor. And believe it or not, that was only $12,000 at the time. Damn. So $200,000 in today's money. Um, but the original construction cost in 1885 was $1.3 million. Okay. $33 million in today's money. Right. So as soon as That's, it was built, it totally yeah. looks the that value way. just plummeted and not too many people could make a go with it. So, cause I, all right, so one thing I want to get clear because on Atlas Obscura, I read online that the girl, like the husband's wife died after three years here and then the guy went back to UK. So is that, was that just wrong? That's totally wrong. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, so we're learning. Just actually up until probably six months ago, we had assumed that she had died and we didn't know that they actually had a child. Um, and his name was Elliot. He was 11 years old when they moved. Right. Um, but we were under the assumption of a lot of different things. And uh, we did find one piece of paper that basically set the record straight. And it basically put Sarah Robbins and their child after they left here in Boston. And John Johnson was a kind of a swindler and a medicine healer, like okay. a holistic doctor. Right. Um, so not a real doctor in today's oh, okay. like, terminology. Standards, yeah. So <clears throat> he basically just used Sarah for her money to build this place. Dang. And her family found out about it, put financial pressure on him, and when he couldn't take it anymore, that's when he left. So that's the, that's the truth digger. now. He was a gold he digger. Was a gold digger. Yeah. He's a smart wow. man. And what Sarah man. Robbins was his third wife. He ended up marrying a total of four times. But the really unique thing that we found out about Sarah is, first, we've never seen a picture of her. And second, there was no record of anyone in this area or the surrounding towns of ever seeing her. Right, so that's just like a mystery woman. It's almost like yeah. she never existed. So Maybe she never did. There's a lot did. of questions, and we're still researching. Right, of um, course. You know, there's a lot of different avenues now that we can look into. Cool. Whereas before, I think it was either created for the story or not. Or the mouth. So they kind of just filled in the blanks. Right. Now we're trying to undo that and fill in the right answer. Right. Yeah, just two and a half years crazy. to paint the ceilings. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I noticed because I was walking through, I'm like, oh, these sandals were hand painted, yeah. they're Chippini. chipping now. What? what does that mean? Giappini is the artist that laid on his back on the scaffolding to yeah. paint, hand paint the rooms. That's good. Shout out to him, <laughs> Giappini. Shout out to Giappini. Yeah, the crazy Is Giappini still alive? Probably not. <laughs> he would be, at, how old would he be? 125 he years old? He had a lot of back issues. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Dude, think about it. If he spent seven years painting, He's gonna be like betting that lady in Conjuring House. <laughs> I don't know. No, they were only paid seven and a half cents an hour. Dang, back in the, the day. Italians to do all the hand painted ceilings. Dude, the Italians knew what they were doing. They absolutely did. They're the real MVP. They were, they were underpaid. Oh yeah, they were underpaid, but they they had the best art, you know. 
So one of our um, our favorite items in the castle, and one of actually Colonel Wilson's favorite items when he was alive, was this music box, and it still does play. That's incredible. Yo. Oh my god. So it has actually turned on. By, by itself? itself? No way. Yeah. Um, it does happen if you kind of stand really close to right. it and thumb on it, but if you're not around it and it starts on by itself, you gotta run. Yeah. If that happens by itself, I'm running, bro. I'm, running the hell out. I'm getting out. <laughs> so depending on the time of the season, we'll change the disc to make it spookier. In the oh right, that's cool. Time. That's cool. So. One of my favorite rooms is the art gallery. It's very, very tall. It's lit by natural light in the daytime. Um, but we did find out that there was an art heist that happened in here in 1918, where the robbers came up through the basement and cut 17 of the pictures out of their gilded frames. Um, and they were recovered at over time. Right. Um, but it was quite interesting because that's new information that we had just kind of rediscovered. That's interesting then. Yeah, it was written all over the East Coast, but it, Yeah. So the and, history here is so cool. But that's the thing, because like, I don't even know how you found it, but like we looked online about this place everywhere, we'd never have even found that. We, it's hard to actually find information online that was true. So you guys are, you know, killing it. <laughs> no, we're, we're trying. Yeah. It is, it's fun, um, the research part. Um, Newspapers.com is where We've, I don't know if I can say that, but that's where that's we've been able to do a lot of this research. Oh, dude, that's... Um, just put, uh, plug in a name and start digging. That's interesting. We'll have to try that. That's really cool. This fountain, they call the Fountain of Youth, but it's really Venus rising from the sea. So with the advent of the internet, you know, and just having Google at our fingertips, we're able to kind of research for ourselves and... and Prove some of these myths from. Um, right. But were we saying that this is like one of the original like ones made? Yeah, this is out of the four that exist today. This is the only original one left. Um, but the coolest thing is, it was first shown at the Chicago World's Exposition in 1893, and we did find the 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 picture of the booth from the manufacturer, and you can see this in the background. So it's really until then, it was assumed that it was from France or Italy. Right. You know, right, it's yeah. actually it was made in Manhattan. That's um, incredible. Yeah. So, but it's original to the castle. It used to sit up front. They moved it in to for fear of vandalism, basically. And you know, so it's I, I, actually I, I, now but it was a fact. I wonder how much that's worth right now. It's well, who knows. Smithsonian did want possession of it, but right. you kind of have to give it to them. Oh. But the colonel was really adamant that it stayed here with the castle because it's Dude. a very special piece to us. And That's got to be us. worth like maybe like half a million maybe to someone who wants to collect because art is like random, right? You don't know how much it could be worth. Give us a call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to buy it, <laughs> call them up. Okay. I'm coming up to it too. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we're in it. So this is... um. This is our second floor. This is where all the bedrooms are. It's actually one of our more haunted or paranormally active spaces. Right. Um, a lot of activity does happen within uh, one of two of the bedrooms and then in this center hall. So Ooh. this is where we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get crazy. This feels like a spot where like something Yeah, I could feel like, you know, it's like just really calm and dark and something could pop off. Little kid little kid is seen through here. That's creepy. Before playing ball. That's okay. They would put the ball down and it would roll. Oh, we need to try to make they it They would something. put a stuffed animal down on the floor and it would go to that. That's, yeah, that's something I haven't... The SLS yet. went crazy in this bedroom the other night. Okay. We here? Mm-hmm. During, uh... Oh, and we, we messed around with an SLS the last yeah, night. Yeah, we did. Oh, oh yeah, SLS. Yeah, Those yeah, things, things are so cool. Yeah. Pool table, um, we did have a death that occurred around this area, and it was the maintenance man of right, the 1990s. Maintenance. A maintenance man? Yeah. He died doing what he loved. His name was Richard Dickey, we called him. Right. And he died right in front of Denise cleaning on that banister. No way. Yes. Wait a minute. So a maintenance man died where? 
right here. Like where, where, where John is? Yeah. yeah. This, this, is where, this is where he died. <laughs> <laughs> so he died. How'd he die? How'd he die over there, though? He died of a heart attack. He was polishing the banister. Oh. Boiling. Yeah. Okay. We actually think he's still here. Oh. So they've made connections with him. Um, yes. On the, the different ghost spirit boxes. And, um, okay. The crazy thing is, so maybe four or five years ago, we had our first really good like paranormal investigation group here. We had a couple before then, but it wasn't anything too serious. Right. And we were kind of apprehensive about letting people do it anymore. We let this one group out of Glens Falls, Steve, um, with Haunted Nights, and I'm telling you, it blew us away. I like was, for really? 45 minutes my jaw was on the ground because I could not believe what was happening and what I was seeing and witnessing. Right. The communications with the flashlights. I mean, we were communicating with Dick Edinger and Colonel Wilson for like 45 minutes, like That's up here. That's wild. Oh, like the, the flashlight thing. Were they, they tapping? Tap on the they would tap the flashlights from the back? There was two, yeah, there was two they were flashlights right. that were going off. Like, the, okay. you would ask a question and it would respond. Yeah. And these mag lights, and I would watch them take them out of a brand new package. I mean, they were brand new batteries, and the lights would dim so much that you would swear they were burning out. Or they would get so bright that you'd swear that it was like about to burst. Whoa. And Denise even asked at the end, she was like, are you serious? Like, they're, are they trying to trick us? Are they fooling us? I was like, think about it for a second. They're not paying us, we're not paying them. Yeah. They're here to validate. We clean here and a lot. And it was too. nuts. Yeah. yeah. We clean here a lot in, in that particular bedroom. I was cleaning the bed, and, and there was some change in the bed. Obviously, somebody had sat in the bed, the change fell out, so I'm making the bed take the change, put it in my pocket, not thinking really anything about it. And like two days later, I think it might have been John's team came in. And there was a group of 17 of us and we each went around and asked a question, you know. Okay. And I said, what did I find in the bed? And it said, 14. So it was a dime and four pennies in my pocket. No. And they seen it. No. Oh. No one knew. No one knew. I didn't but even know. That's creepy. It was very bizarre. So, we're, so, so we have a lot of stories going on right now. So I'm excited right now too. So I'm like, all right, something's gonna happen. Like I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm amped. Door slam. Yeah. No, no, just two weeks ago, the vacuum, vacuum went turned on. on by we're itself. all in there in the in the meeting room, and the vacuum's in here, and that went right on. Okay. Oh all of us God, each other like, Seth. It seems like this floor. This we thought area, though that it was like an electrical active. issue that the maybe the yeah. extension cord that was plugged in right below there was maybe like loose or something. So I had to actually walk over and turn, turn it, it off. off. It's actually hard to turn on on and off. It's not easy. Right. It, it was weird because it hit us the next day, oh and we the, were all like, "Did we just?" Literally witnessed what we did yesterday. Right. Oh my god! So it ha stuff happens so frequently that it doesn't. It because yeah, you get used to it now. Yeah, that's how the owners he's of the Conjuring House are. Just a normal thing. He just jumped up to go see who's here, and there's no one here. Dude, that was like when we heard the footsteps in the Conjuring, um, the the bedroom. We were sitting on the bed, and in the next yeah, room. Yeah, I'll never forget that, dude. I will no, never forget it that. The, it was like literally like footsteps. I know exactly how that feels. Like you know you heard it. You like, know you what it sounds like. You can tell if they're boots or if they're, right. You know, right. like you can tell. Yeah, it's just nuts. Oh my God. So, so what I'm curious about too is because like I checked online about this place, and I learned that there's not too much like ghost people who actually come here, and like this is still kind of like a low key spot that's just like on the uprise. So I feel like we're like, I mean, Omar went here. Did any other YouTubers went here besides Omar? Um, not YouTubers. So we're like the second YouTubers yeah. now who's filming yeah. something here. Mm -hmm. Yo, I mean, Did you film a YouTube video here? Yeah, I have several. Okay, 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 so John filmed one here too, guys. John has a channel too. I mean, yo, so, like we're, so we're the third ones, technically, <laughs> to be filming here. This is great, though, we're, because like, we, we, me and you, dude, like, we're known for like, trying to keep it as real as possible. So. Right. Like for the fact that like it's not very well documented. There's still a lot of questions and like I think we need to we need to yeah Like I think this is great because we're putting it on the map and because we're the first ones to film Conjuring House and for YouTube Not only is it putting it on the map so to speak It's like helping prove credibility on our parts and on their parts as well true. Oh, that's, that's true. That's true 
So when we're doing all this, honestly, to restore and to fix this beautiful structure. Yes. Right, of course. So we weren't left, Denise wasn't left with a mountain of cash in order to maintain this place. So right. it's been a struggle and that's kind of, you know, getting the word out is really what's going to help us. So yep. thank you guys so much for that. You know. No, thank you. Thank Yo, there's you a story. Know. So I guess their eight ball was stolen. And what happened was is that when they stole the eight ball, they were, they were receiving bad luck, so they mailed the eight ball back. So they took the eight ball and put it inside this glass container. So just like the brick story. So what do you think the most haunted room is in this whole entire... This, this right one, right here? this one. Grandma's That's also room. what John said too. Grandma's room. This say, is I mean, grandma's dress. Wait, Chris is grandma's room? Uh-huh. Yo! That's actually like her dress? That's her dress. Oh my god! That's her veil on the back of the bed. I'm in grandma's dress right now, I'm rocking it. Yo, you better you better chill with the disrespect call. Don't <laughs> it. Yo, if grandma Yo ah! <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I hope grandma yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna keep it going though. So so in this, what's going on in this picture? Cause this they ain't the ghost girl, right? Right, this girl worked for the Halloween events many, many years ago. Okay. And this doll here did exist. This is actually a mirror that it's projecting back but then these windows. That guy. Yeah, that guy that is guy. very unexplainable. Yo, who is that guy? Yo, like, you always see those pictures, like, you know, on the internet, but, like, you never, you never know if it's photoshopped, so, like, to catch one of those pictures, like, for yourself and, like, actually, un like, see it, it. If that ever happens to us, I will be convinced a thousand times that it goes around. Not that I don't believe it now, but I will it be, like, be, It would be, like, that's the most it. physical, like, yeah, like, proof ever that, like, we've ever, we yeah. would ever get. Same gentleman, his son, you can see her I could in the see her doorway. Creeping. Oh, yeah, you definitely can. Barely, though, but you can see her you creeping right there, yeah. And then you can see that the dress is in the closet. Oh, my God, that's so weird. And we think she might be wearing that dress because of the white right under her head. Right. So just a very, very weird yeah. photo. Yeah, so, we but were just those told three photos, two portals. I literally wore my two. life There's on. an entrance and into. An and an exit. And that's like the conjuring Remember, house. that's what I was saying. I, we the, think the, so. The bathroom where there's a mirror facing a mirror. That's yeah. What, that's what yeah. they would like to call a vortex or something. And oh. it's supposed well, we to be a We were told the entrance is in the closet here. We need to do that tonight. We need and to go into exit it. exit is going the out of the, the bathroom, bathroom into that teal bathroom. Oh, no. This Ever. is actually the most active room, I would say, in the house. That's the portal. Over the, the last... Since the 1970s, different tourists coming here have described seeing a woman looking out these windows. Okay. To Hi. multiple tour guides. Wow. And this is before the internet. This is before stories right. really right. ran. Rumors and so, but our tour guides were basically told the same story by multiple yeah. tourists over the years. Um, so that's probably the most historic haunting of the castle. But this room still gives... Whoa, wait a minute. I don't think I'm ready now. Like, whoa. Yo, she didn't tell me they were leaving. Yo, I didn't know. Once it turns dark, we're. Uh oh. Oh no. Yo, shout out to Andy, everyone on his history. Thank you guys. And Denise, I might buy your house. Thank you so much for having us. Anytime. Thanks. I can't believe we're really staying the night here. Like, this is the biggest place I've ever stayed the night in. We are? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> They're leaving. The owners are leaving with the house to ourselves. Um, well, this is really it. We're actually in the castle. How do we even... We are alone in the castle. We are alone in the castle. I'm just... I mean, look at this. The doors, the big doors have closed. Well, actually, oh, the, the tape tripped me out. Yeah, it's closed. Well, I don't even, I, I don't know. Like, this is it. Like, we just start. This is, this is our house. This is our house. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this up to uh, John, and I'll, I'll put my parts in. But John's the leader. What? Yeah, John, you're the leader. I mean, yeah, just lead, lead us to victory. Yeah, you're the oldest, bro. I'm the oldest. Papa John over here. Take us home. But we do, obviously, you know, we got REM pods. I got EVP stuff, and we're, we're going to mess around. 
Yeah, we have all night. Yeah. Oh, oh, he did bring the SLS yeah. camera. <laughs> That's where we found Batneck Lady. So hopefully, we find some more stuff like that. All right, explorers. So we actually already heard some noises right now, like above us. But this is the end of part one. Now you guys know the history of the place. You know we're in this crazy, like Renaissance, creepy uh, castle mansion. You gotta watch part two if you want to see what happens. We're gonna be here the whole night, so stay tuned to part two. Subscribe to everyone. We got John here. We got Seth here. It is here? They don't have. Well, it doesn't have a YouTube channel, but you guys get the idea. Subscribe to the homies and let's go check out uh, part two. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yo, 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 what a way to start part two. This thing is literally going red right in front of us. Oh, that's not fake. That's, yo, that's real. <laughs> that's our first ever EVP. No. That's freaky. Oh, I heard like screaming help. Like I someone said the chair. Oh my god, this is that you all three, three of you are there. Oh, no. He's moving with you.